It is time to start thinking about those cute and colorful shoes for spring. And the trends this year aren't just fun. They're not, okay, I wrote this and apparently it was wrong. I said they were also comfortable, but to me, <laughs> wedge heels are very comfortable. So here you go. We're going to show you the hottest shoe trends this spring. And our style editor of St. Louis Magazine, Jan Leach, is here to show us because she always knows what's hot. Good morning. Good morning. Thank so, you. So lots of fun colors. And, yes. and these were kind of around last year, too. Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely, we're seeing styles that have been around for a couple seasons now, just updates with different colors or different fabrications or maybe a different heel height or heel width. So lots of fun, bright. Well, for instance, this wedge yes. heel, this has been around for a while, but not oh, yes. quite as colorful and floral. Right, so floral is a huge trend for spring, but not everybody wants to wear it head to toe. So the best way to brighten up, you know, maybe a simple white summery dress is with mm -hmm. a floral espadrille. The wedge makes it comfortable. The floral just brings a pop of color. And then you can build your accessories around your shoes as opposed to your outfit. Now, where do really these fun. shoes come from in these case are, you want to buy them? These are from Dillard's. Okay. Yeah. These are Dillard's. These are H&M. These, These are, are really H&M. inexpensive. They're very. They're twenty four ninety five. Wow. Every shoe here is under a hundred dollars. So these flats are showing off the metallic toe trend, which we saw we see from Chanel starting years ago, and everybody's kind of emanating it, and we'll see it emulating, it. and we're seeing it more and more from different tones. So you'll see a black covered toe mm -hmm. and a nude flat, and now this spring we're seeing metallic toes. So gold, rose gold, gunmetal, silver, and this is a rose gold, and it's just a really fun color palette. And metallic shoes are th just the best accessory to pull yes. together an outfit. Yes, and they're in style every season. So it's always good to have oh, a metallic. This would be a classic one. Yes. Okay, the color blocking is yes. huge this yes. year. So much color blocking all over the place. And, you know, let's say you don't get to express your fashion style at work and you have to wear, you know, kind of a conservative suit or maybe suit pants, something like that. So if you still want to be stylish, throw in color blocking in your shoes. It's a really fun way to do it. It's not the most, you know, focal point of your outfit, but it will make a statement without being over the top. And I love these Calvin Klein pumps. They have a thicker heel, so mm -hmm. they're more comfortable. It's a covered platform, so also they're comfortable. Suede. And they're suede, so you can wear them next fall as well. So I Perfect. love this. It's a really fun color. So the different, you know, pinks, purples, and oranges are How really big. How much are these? Because again, if, if we spend a little bit more, but you're going to be able to wear them two seasons, that's worth it. Correct. These are 89. Okay. So these are actually my favorite up here. I love these. I love this color because mm -hmm. I feel like when you blend with your skin tone, it makes yeah. your legs look it's longer and thinner. Exactly. Perfect. It elongates your legs. So along with all these bright color trends for spring, there's also a pastel trend. It's a really tough colorway for a lot of people to wear. So like some of these other trends, when you can't go all out, go for the shoe. Shoe always fits. So go for these fun shoes. These are like a pastel peach, almost nude, but you can see them in a mint green or a light pink okay. or even like a sky blue color. But we love these because they have the suede and the leather, the grommets, the espadrille. It's kind of every perfect shoe put in one. Well, see, if you had a dress on like this color mm -hmm. of your scarf with that, that would look so it's really good. pretty. Yeah, together. I didn't even notice that was a peachy color. I was yeah. thinking tan, but you're it's right. It almost just has a hint of peach in it. And where are those? And these are from Dillard's as well. Okay. So we're no. Dillard's, Macy's, and H and M. Okay. These I these love. These are very sexy. <laughs> these are sexy. These are your hot, high platform heels. And what's cool about them is the lucite. Mm -hmm. Now, we all know that that's not the easiest thing to wear. And you're not going to, most likely, not going to wear an all over lucite heel. But these were all over the runway. Everything from Marc Jacobs and Louis Vuitton. Lucite handbags, lucite shoes, lucite in shirts and dresses. Really? So it's that. crazy. So all these plastic lucite influences everywhere. So the best way and the safest way, classiest way, is in a heel. And this is that fun peach color, you know, all this orange color that's huge for spring. And, and this then, is a good color for any skin tone because mm -hmm. even if you're pale, it, right. it makes you look like you have a hint of a tan. Right. It's not too bright. And I love, I just love this colorway and this really fun shoe. It's yeah. bold. But you fun. also like this one. This is Jessica Simpson, so we know the yeah. heel is going to be super high. Super high. Yeah. She at least gives you a platform so that you're getting height in the front and the back. So it's a little bit more comfortable. Not all of your weight is going to be on your toes. It's still really tall, but this is that bold, edgy, strappy, super bright heel. I love that she's mixed the fuchsia and that same orange that we keep talking about in a patent trim. Mm -hmm. And then, a, you know, in an opposite colorway. This is oh, kind of like a lavender, almost like a blue color. So the color blocking yeah. is Yeah, so it's still color blocking. It's really bright. It's more edgy. So when you want to wear your skinny black jeans and, you know, a very loose blousey top, this is the perfect shoe to kind of sex it up a little okay. bit. Okay, and then these are the patent leather. Yes, so they're back patent leather. Too. And the fact that it's a covered patent leather wedge. You can wear them year-round. It's kind of an update on a pump. 
So a wedge is a little bit more comfortable. You get a little bit more color in it when the wedge is covered. And platform um, pattern is really popular. And this also has the colored toe as well. Love it. Now, if you could only afford one pair this year, which one would it be? I'm going to go with you. I say these. Oh, yeah. And I would even be bold and try them in a light blue or a minty green. But the shoe in general is just a really good. I mean, it's it's a That's fancier a take shoe. on a basic. Yeah, yeah. It's classic. The fit, it's comfortable. I love peep toe shoes. I think they're just so classy and sexy and very girly. Nice. And it'll make my legs look longer. Yes. Can't complain. Well, thank you so much for thank coming you. in. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, can we tell them? Yes. Jan got engaged last night and look Yay! at this rock on her finger. I know I didn't tell you, Greg, that we we're going to do this, Director Greg, but you got to get a shot of that. Congratulations. Yay, that thank is so you. Good. And he actually designed mm. that ring. Oh, just I'm so lucky. It's beautiful. Ken hates them. I know everybody's going to be jealous. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Sean. Well, and the boys will be jealous of your fiance, too. Yeah. Okay, we posted <laughs> a link you. to St. Louis Magazine on GreatDaySt.Louis.com. By the way, if you thought these shoes were too expensive, we've got some websites and tips on how you can save money on your fashionable shoes and clothes this spring a little bit later in the show. But today on Facebook, we want to know what are your go-to spring and summer shoes? Do you love the high wedge, the platform? Maybe you can't resist a strappy sandal or a comfy pair of flats. Actually, I've already peeked in a lot of flip-floppers out there, as in they love the flip-flops. Get on Facebook and let us know your favorite shoe, Kent. We will. I could have I would have put you in that shoe. That's the shoe I would have picked for you. Really? Yes, I do. You know but me I do have so well. I do. But I have a question. What is Escadrill? Escadrill. Escadrill. Didn't you say Escadrill? It's the drill. Pedril. Oh, Escadrill. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I just didn't know. I wanted to know. It's that cord-like material gotcha. stuff. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like I'll a raffia. Oh yeah. Sure. <laughs> Next up on Great Day St. Louis, we're gonna make some money. Whether you sell items regularly online or you have your own business, you want to make a profit. And we will talk with an expert about how to make sure the price is right. Also ahead, how to expand your wardrobe without dropping a bunch of cash. We're talking about easy ways to save. And we're checking in with Chris Byrne, the, top, the toy guy who just got back from the International Toy Fair, so he knows just what the kids will be asking for this year. Stay with us. You're watching Great Day St. Louis with Virginia, Carol, Matt, and Ken.